All right, well, I've been waiting some time for this to show up. This is the uh, LOSI 5T. Um, I opted to get a uh, larger engine, so it's got the 29cc Zenoa high performance motor in it. So let's take this thing out of the box, see what it looks like. Okay, this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was, so um, <laughs> it's almost indescribable how large it is. I had a uh, one of those H HPI Baja short course trucks, and this is a lot bigger. This thing is huge. I mean, you can just see the size of the box. How big that is. Um, let's see if I can, what I'll do is I'll put the camera down. And I'll stand next to it. I'm six foot two, so you can gauge how big this thing really is. Comes right up to my waist. It looks like they get some kind of protecting coating on here. I know unfortunately with this thing you have to undo these little screws here opposed to um, your traditional clips so some people have complained about that. Um, I really want to take a look at the motor in here. Can I get a peek in there? Looks pretty good by all uh, stretch of the imagination. I mean it's pretty nicely done. The decal job is pretty smooth. I like the KC lights in the front. Hopefully I'll find an LED kit for that. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Those of you who know uh, Team Losi stuff, this is basically a, a uh, glorified 8. Uh, if you look at the chassis, it looks almost identical to the 8 that I have and the 8 Truggy that I've had in the past. Um, the wheels look not bad. They look a little cheesy, the tires rather. Um, you know, But I don't think I'm going to be changing those out anytime soon because of the price of these things. Uh, what else? Let's take a look. Here's a little side view of it. Pretty good looking truck. I mean, overall, I, mean, I think it's pretty well designed the way they put the shell together. I like how the shell is all different pieces. You know, like this is a separate piece. This is a separate piece. That way, if you do break or crack something, you can just order that one part instead of ordering, you know, the one the one whole body shell because I think this shell is like two hundred or two hundred and fifty dollars just for the just for the Lexan body. Seems to have a pretty significant roll cage. Here's the rear. The shocks are tremendously large. I mean they're they're really beefy looking. I don't know if we can get a view of that there. Shock tower looks pretty beefy as well. Um, yeah the roll cage looks pretty good. There's that 290 RC Zenoa motor in there. You can see the pull start right here. So that's the that's the portion they upgraded. Um, hopefully that'll make a big difference because I've read in a couple of the uh, online reviews of this that this thing's a little bit of a dog as far as the engine goes. So I opted to trade in my motor for 100 bucks, get a hundred dollar credit on it, and then upgrade to this for like 200 dollars more. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a large increase in power um, and torque. So I'm excited to get this thing out in the road and see what it does, but. I'm going to have to work on it a little bit and pop the cover off. Uh, this is a bind and drive, which means it's got all the radio gear and everything in there. The servos and everything are already attached um, from the factory at Losi. All you got to do is just get your radio, put your little bind plug in, um, and then obviously match the radio with the receiver, and you're ready to go. Um, I think you got to put some kind of oil in the gas as well. I'm pretty sure it's similar to the um, HPI the Baja model, but um, <laughs> kind of in awe at how large this thing is. It's, it's massive. I really didn't realize it was this wide. The width of it, I mean, here's my arm. I mean, it's 
it's longer than my elbow. I mean, like I said, I'm six foot two. There's my elbow on the edge of the model, and there's where my hand goes. So then it's significantly wide. This thing was handled like it's on rails. So uh, that's it for the unboxing. Not really much in the box, really. I mean, I don't really see much in here. There's another little box here. I think I've seen that before. I bought this on largescalerc.com. They had a promo going uh, where it was like, I don't remember how much off it was. Um, yeah, here it is right here. It was like 100 bucks off or something like that. It ended, I think, in July, the end of July. Um, and then, I, like I said, I opted to add the different motor in here because I really didn't feel like doing that and changing the clutch and doing all that crap. So uh, that's it. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this box. I'm going to have to keep it just in case I ever do sell it. I'll have to put this in a storage shed. But uh, that's it. I'll get it up and running and hopefully have some time to uh, test it out in the next day or so here. But uh, I think I'm going to kind of take it apart and take a peek at what's under the hood there. So that's a low C 5T 1 5th scale.